Well, this is what Maine looks like Sunday morning around 6 a.m. Um, I thought this would be crazy Memorial Day weekend, but whatever. So I'm a little behind schedule, but we're heading on up to the launch site. I got lipos charging in the truck because uh, I just didn't get it together in time this morning. All right, Rich, give me a rundown. All right, we're just uh, going to measure out three grams for the drogue for both uh, backup and primary and then do 2.5 for main. Nice. On uh, the Dark Star, gonna run a K1103X. Ooh. So this is a trick my old man just taught me the other weekend. Um, this small stuff, this is probably like 24, 26 gauge, can be a real pain with your strippers. Um, but if you just take your thumbnail and grab it it strips so easy and you never nick the wire this is my new go-to i don't know if you caught that on film mm -hmm. yeah um for like igniters and charges and everything like just have a strong thumbnail yeah <laughs> cool. love it well did the walk out to the pad and had no continuity on main so this was the culprit it was under that tab instead of on top of it so just did the walk of shame Four, three, two, one. Everybody ready? Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I still got it. Good. We're we going five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Yeah. Did it have spacer oil rings in there? I wonder what it spit out. Yep, separated. Back up. It'll be just right at the sun in like two seconds. There you go, man. Nice. Right towards Bihar. No, but yeah, maybe. Come on, Dark Star. It's going to land in your trunk. It's ready to go home. Dark Star, you do not need to learn all the things that we taught you. It'll wake up Grayson. Nice. Yeah, bud. You couldn't ask for a better landing there. Perfect. Nice, nice scramble. Nice work. Beauty. Yeah, see you in New York. I'm going to go off from a ride. It's a heck of a lot better than my walk. Five, four, three, two, one. Tip, you can do 1010 rails off of 1515 or 1010 buttons on a 1515 rail. Love it. One in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. I see why people like the eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Good eyes. Oh, trees. Half the trees. Oh, 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 you're on the other side. Half the side. Nice. All right. So luckily, old Richie gave me a ride. The GPS. For a second, I thought <laughs> the GPS was pointing at some four wheelers, and I thought they came by and scooped it up for me, but uh, it was just coincidence. So this one was funny. I accidentally turned the tracker off in my pocket while we launched it and we had no idea where it went till the main came out. <laughs> we were looking 180 degrees the wrong way. But yeah, another picture perfect flight for the old Dark Star Junior here. This is what they look like laid out. A little Nomax, a little Kevlar. 
GPS tracker and drogue are all happy. Nose cone, that's how I do them. Nose cone down low and 30 inch recon. If, if you need a quick a, and dirty sled, featherweight, for your featherweight, <laughs> just cut your motor tube packaging. Ma Aerotech actually sells them. You just have to buy a whole motor. Yeah, right there. <laughs> and then we're good to go. Yeah, put it in a blue tube. Yep. Let it rip. Electrical tape it to your harness, done. <laughs> Let's see, I got some catching up to do. We're gonna load this doorknob soon. Got ourselves the K990, so that's a 54 2800 load. Look at these grains. I always forget just how dirty Aerotech Dark Matters look. That's awesome. I'm gonna call them Dirty Matters, I think. Let's see, how's your. <laughs> You've got kind of an aggressive plan here, so Dude. give us the rundown. All right, yeah, so. We're gonna try to scratch the ceiling on a what are we doing? Uh, J415 on a 2.6 Intimidator. Uh, we're looking at about 9,900 feet, 10,000 feet. Nice. Yeah. What's gonna be sick is with the light lighting, we'll be able to track it easy because yeah. it's like a really good smoke plume. Yeah. So I think this is gonna be the highest that I've flown so far. So. You'll have me beat. Let's push the envelope, man. I wanted 8,000 so bad and I got 7,990. <laughs> <laughs> We're good to go. Everybody ready? Yep. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. It's slowing down. All right, the main came out. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. That's not too far away. That's a ways. So finally, it was time for me to launch my doorknob, but first I was going to have to battle some bad Aerotech igniters. <laughs> yeah, we we won't lose this one. <laughs> All right, sky's clear. Looks good. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, yeah. I need a sand. Does anyone have sandpaper for the leads? They were getting a little cooked. Um, I think there's some sandpaper in that tote, right? So for the, so for the second time ever, an Aerotech igniter kind of uh, just blew the pyrogen on me and didn't ignite. So we went with a uh, a wild man, little unigniter, and uh, that is exactly what I needed. So K990, it's the biggest 54 millimeter dark matter that Aerotech offers that I know of. Guys, clear. Five, four, three, two, one. They either both bought at the same time or we didn't get a break of <laughs> Now, sometimes it'll stick to landing because the fins are so wide. What? Oh, <laughs> that, that was pretty fast. <laughs> so here we are, top to bottom. Nice big old lock chute. Nose cone, let's see if this survived. Oh yeah, couldn't ask for anything better than that. This is all in one piece. Camera's still there. Is camera running? Doesn't look like it. Um, throw. GPS is good. 
and the fin can. Beautiful, 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 beautiful.